Winter skincare. Winter is a glorious time of year, says no one. Okay, no, I joke. I do love some aspects of winter, but one aspect of winter that I really don't like, and I'm pretty sure we can all agree on, is what it does to our skin. My skin gets bad in the winter, you guys. Now, I have come a long way and my face is way, way, way better. And honestly, I attribute that to these steps that I'm about to show you in this video. They really have changed my skin for the better and I'm not a skincare expert, but I just wanted to share what's worked for me so that hopefully maybe it can work for you and inspire you to change up your routine. Some of these hacks are honestly so easy and free. Like you don't even have to buy specific products. Of course, I'm also going to be sharing the products in my skincare routine, including a review of the new Merit Great Skin Serum. So if you're interested in learning about this product or just any of the products I talk about, then make sure to keep watching. But on top of all the products, I'm also going to be sharing like specific just techniques that you can implement for free that are going to help with your winter skin guaranteed. If you're new here, then welcome. If you're not new, then welcome back. My name is Lisa Gabrielle and I make videos on fashion and beauty and wellness and lifestyle and all that kind of good stuff. So if that interests you, then make sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now and ring the bell so you can join the family. If you want to check out my socials, I'm also on Instagram and TikTok and I'll leave those in the description down below. Okay, we have a lot of content to get through, so I'm just gonna like dive into it. Okay, so I just washed my face and I wanted to just do that off camera because I don't have the best lighting setup in my bathroom, so I just figured I'd wash my face. Obviously, you guys know what that looks like and then I'll just do the rest of it here with this beautiful natural lighting because especially when it comes to skincare, like you need to have good lighting for videos because while I make YouTube videos, I also watch a lot of YouTube videos and nothing bothers me more than like poor lighting or bad sound quality those two together no just washed my face using the pure skin face cleanser by first aid beauty i've talked about this before i'm going to talk about it again it's such a great cleanser if you have dry sensitive skin it's very very gentle but it does the job i grew up using washcloths honestly i only stopped using them this past year but it has made the biggest difference and that's my first winter skin hack for you guys is removing that abrasive washcloth from your routine the last thing you want to do when you start your skincare routine and your makeup routine is irritate your skin, right? You want it to be as gentle and non-irritant as possible. So removing a washcloth has really made a big difference. Now I do like to double cleanse and I find sometimes in the morning, especially because I wear mascara most days, I need to go in with a, nothing happened. I need to go in with an oil cleanser just to remove the like extra mascara that's kind of melted off overnight. Usually I'll start with this. I'll just take the cotton pad and put a little bit of this Garnier Skin Active Cleansing Water with vitamin C. I like this one because it has the added vitamin C for brightening, which is great for the eye area. You know, we can use all the brightening we can get in our under eye area. So I do like this for that reason. And it also removes makeup really well because of the oil component. So I go in with a organic cotton pad with that. Then once I'm Done that i go in with my water-based cleanser and i just get everything clean and fresh and ready for all of the wonderful steps that are yet to come my second tip for winter skin is to not use hot water you don't want to use cold water because you do want to open your pores a little bit but avoid using ultra hot water because what that's going to do is it's just going to dry out your skin even more also the changes in temperatures like having extreme cold and extreme hot isn't the best for your skin it's just another factor that's going to add to irritation so i definitely recommend just going for like lukewarm to warm water and avoiding hot water because it's just going to keep the moisture in your pores the last thing we want to do in winter is strip our skin of its natural moisture right while my skin is still a little bit wet not soaking wet but just a little bit damp i like to go in with a serum right away and i actually kind of follow this sequence for the serum step and for the moisturizer and the spf and even makeup i never want my skin to fully dry in between these steps and that is winter skin hack number three really make sure that especially with the moisturizer when you go in there's some sort of moisture that you're trapping in with the moisturizer and you're not just going in on a completely dry skin honestly ever since i started doing this just like all of the dry winter skin problems that i had have pretty much gone away i highly recommend all of these hacks but this one in particular really really changed my skin you guys so i could not recommend this more 
really make sure when you go in with your serum that your face is still damp. So the first serum that I use is this Stroke of Brilliance Brightening Serum by Verst. I absolutely love it. It's a great, affordable, accessible, you can buy it at the drugstore, vitamin C serum, and it just enhances my sunscreen, which we all want. It adds brightening, so I really like this product, and I go in right after my moisturizer pretty much every day. The moisturizer I use really depends on the day, but I'd say my favorite is the La Roche-Posay Tolerant Sensitive Cream UV SPF 30. And I love this because it's an SPF and a cream. It does two in one. And it's such a nice, rich, but not greasy cream. So it's really good if you have dry skin, but you're also slightly acne prone, which is me. And <laughs> I just love it because it does not clog my pores, but it really does moisturize my skin. So it's kind of like the best of both worlds. And then the fact that there's SPF SPF in it as well is just fantastic because we all need sunscreen in our lives. You guys know, I'm not gonna talk about sunscreen. <laughs> Okay, so the product that I'm most excited to share with you guys is such a gorgeous serum. It's a new product by Merit. Merit's known for makeup, but recently they're getting into skincare. And this portion of the video is actually sponsored by Merit. And I was so excited when they reached out to me because I've heard only the best things about their products. They have such a great reputation. Their brand stands for such great principles about like just natural, minimal, non-irritating ingredients, which is really important for me because with dry and sensitive skin, non-irritating is the way to go, as I've been saying in this video. Um, but here we have the Merit Great Skin Instant Glow Serum. And what I love about this product in particular is that it's just such a great addition to your skincare routine. So regardless, Regardless of what you already have in your skincare routine, this kind of just enhances your skin. It's just, it adds like a glowing element, almost like a makeup, but not. One of my biggest fears with products and ingredients is like mixing them. And because this one is so gentle, I can mix it with my other skincare products and I'm not worried about it because it's just like such a great enhancement. I'm gonna show you like a little sample of it, but first I just wanna read the ingredients and the side of the package. This is the package, by the way, she's this gorgeous classy blue color honestly i think this product is like such a great gift as well because it's good for all skin types you can get it for any if not all of your friends and it's such a great price point too for a gift so it has two percent niacinamide for brightening it has four types of hyaluronic acid for deep hydration it's got caffeine rich cacao seed extract for plumping japanese gold thread root for soothing and antioxidant protection and it's ph balanced for a healthy skin barrier the clinical results say 100% found it non-irritating, which is a huge win. 100% said their skin was instantly soothed. 97% said that their skin felt instantly moisturized. And 91% said that their skin looked instantly more radiant. And honestly, like I agree with all of those points. I've had some experience with bad reactions to products in the past. And so I love claims like this where 100% found it non-irritating in the clinical results section because not that I'm not gonna patch test this, I did patch test this but it's just amazing that no one was irritated in the clinical trial so it's comforting the purpose of this serum is to instantly hydrate and plump the skin for a smooth glass-like appearance leaving the skin calmer brighter and more even over time that's probably from the niacinamide designed as a base for the minimalist or for bare skin the minimalist i believe is their like foundation concealer kind of product um i've heard really good things about it and i'm actually getting targeted by their adsense for that so maybe i'll have to try that and give you guys a review of that as well do you want me to do that let me know in the comments so to use this you need to shake it well because of the different elements as you can see there's kind of two tones here so shake it well and then after cleansing and before moisturizing massage two to three pumps into skin but it also says that you can apply it before or after the moisturizer in the morning or twice daily so that's amazing i've done it under moisturizer in the past but i want to see what it's going to look like under my makeup and so i'm not going to show you my whole makeup but at the end of the video i'll give you kind of like a reveal of that as well because i find not every great skincare product works great under makeup and so i just want to show you guys what that looks like under makeup and over moisturizer and i'm hoping that by putting it over the moisturizer because it's going to be a little bit closer to the makeup it's going to give it more glow so i'm just going to shake it also check out how beautiful this packaging is so luxurious I love when brands really like think about their packaging and put effort into it and like even just the quality like you can tell from the sounds. This is skincare ASMR, guys. 
you can see it's like so dewy it feels very velvety and very smooth and very like just hydrating not heavy at all very light for an oil serum i'm really impressed by that super glowy Back to our winter skin hacks. Winter skin hack number four is to pat your products into your skin as opposed to rubbing them. And this is again, avoiding irritation because that's the theme of today. But it's also just your skin will absorb the product more from the patting motion than the rubbing motion. So I try to pat my products instead of rub them in and I've noticed that redness is reduced. So it says two to three pumps. I'm gonna go in with two pumps just because I have my other serum in already and moisturizers and stuff. The one other time that I've tried a oil product before, I was really, really not impressed. It did not work well with my skin type, but this one just feels so light. It really doesn't even feel like there's an oil in it. As you can see, it gives me a really nice shine, a really nice glow, but not greasy, not heavy, very light, very fresh. We're a fan. Honestly, we're a fan. If you're interested in buying this product for yourself or as a gift for friends, because it's honestly such a great gift, I have left the link down below in the description box. It is an affiliate link, so I will make a commission if you decide to purchase the product through that link. And obviously it would be greatly appreciated because it's just one way to support the channel. So you don't have to, but if you do, I am grateful. Oh, and of course, how could I forget? It comes with this gorgeous little bag. How cute is this? It's giving me Bottega vibes, but it's free. Another reason this makes the perfect gift. So that's it for all of my winter skin tips. But before you go, I'm gonna go do my makeup now and then I'm gonna show you what the final result looks with a little bit of makeup. I'm just gonna do like an everyday light makeup, but what that looks like over top of the Merit Great Skin Serum because I wanna show you guys, I wanna find out as well, but I wanna show you guys how it's gonna look under makeup. Okay, hi, wow. So I just did my makeup. I just did my very simple everyday five to 10 minute makeup routine. On my skin, I just did basically a mix of moisturizer and concealer. And I find that that combo kind of mimics tinted moisturizer and it's very light and it evens out my skin tone without being full coverage. When I put it on top of the Merit Great Skin Serum, it just slided on so smoothly. And I find I have this like natural glow. I'm not wearing any highlighter or anything and you can see like my cheekbones are popping my forehead is popping it's almost like you can still see the exact same glow that i had without any makeup on shine through the makeup so i'm incredibly impressed by this product's ability to give that glow and honestly i'm probably gonna put it on as not a primer but like right before a primer i, I think i'm gonna wear this with makeup a lot because she gives a glow the fact that it's also got all of those good ingredients is like just such a bonus. So very, very happy about this. Let me know if you guys decide to try Merit. And again, if you do use that affiliate link, it would be so appreciated by me. I hope that all of these tips were really helpful for you. Let me know which tip was your favorite and if any of these were new for you. And let me know if you plan on implementing them into your winter skincare routine. Also, if there's anything that you swear by that I did not mention, then leave those in the comments as well because I'm always happy to refine my routine and I'm sure that it would be helpful for someone else as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love and appreciate every single one of you. Don't forget to like this video if you liked it. Hit that subscribe button, ring the bell, check out my socials if you want, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.